Good afternoon, students. Today we will discuss how to save a document. What do I mean by saving a document? When I am working on my word processing, Excel, PowerPoint, I have to save the document in order to have a copy later. If I want to have a copy of my work, I must save it, else I will lose it. If I don't save, I just close the document. It won't be saved. I won't be able to obtain the work again. Therefore, how do we save? First step, click on File tab. In old PCs, we have this circle instead of file. In new versions of Microsoft Word, we have file written at the top. We must first press on file. Then, second step, click on save as. We must click on it. Then, choose location where to save the document. Where do you want to save the document? For students, it is more easy to save it on the desktop. Why on the desktop? Because when you switch on your computer, the first thing that you get is the desktop. Therefore, when you switch on your computer, you can easily get your document that you have saved. Therefore, we choose to save on the desktop. I choose the desktop. Then, to ensure that it, is, it will be exactly found on the desktop, I select desktop on the left side here. The next step, give a name to your document by typing the file name. Once you have chosen desktop, I want to save it on the desktop, I will come here in the text box near file name I will type the name of the file I for example if I, I have typed a letter I can give the file name letter I will enter in the text box and type the word letter then to save it you must click on save button. Now let's go through an example. In my Word document I want to write my name is Nelly Burton. This is my sentence. I want to save this exercise. Therefore, I click on File. I press on Save As. I will save on the desktop. I choose Desktop. To ensure that it is exactly on the desktop, I can click it here once again to ensure myself. Then I give my work a name. Uh, I will put it uh, exercise 1. Then I click on save button. To ensure that it is 
sick you can find it on your desktop here is exercise one once i find the exercise in the location i am saving therefore i can ensure that the work has been saved thanks for your attention i hope you have understood the lesson of today